And we have the badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Deciding your authentic self, your truth. That is the only way to live. And you no longer fear what people think or say about you. What they think or say about you is none of your business. This is you bringing your, your authentic self to the forefront, fearless and bold. This is creating the space and the room for you to manifest the heart, the things that your heart desires. Hello, Aries. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. Aries, come on in here. Let's find out what spirit needs you to know for your May 2024. I hope all is well with you, Aries. And you survived eclipse season and Mercury retrograde. You can view this reading for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's bring in some good vibes here. I've already blessed my decks of cards. We are going to find out what spirit needs you to know, Aries. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a subscriber, thank you for coming back. <clears throat> so, let's get started. Let's clear this space a little bit more. Beautiful. All right, Aries, let's get into your reading for May 2024. Finding out what spirit needs you to know. First, we have the Hierophant. Spiritual guidance, some study, or this could be you being the teacher, Aries. What else, Spirit? What else do we have for our beautiful Aries? The chariot. Control. Courage. Mm -hmm. One more spirit. Death. All right. Some completion. Some <clears throat> endings with new beginnings for our beautiful Aries. Let's get more. This deck gives me heart palpitations because it's so slippery, but it is my favorite color. I don't wear a lot of pink, but I love the color pink. Mm -hmm. A lot of joy here for you, Aries. A lot of contentment. Mm -hmm. Fulfillment and happiness. What else, Spirit? What else do we have for Aries? You have a steady energy about you, Aries. You are focused on your path. A very steady pace. You don't rush, rush things. What I'm getting. One more spirit. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Okay. <clears throat> there is plenty of 
I have some Taurus in your reading, Aries, mm -hmm, Cancer. And Scorpio is showing up. So Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio showing up in your reading. Aries could be anywhere in your birth chart. So take that how it resonates. Let the rest fall away. <clears throat> Joy and contentment. Something is definitely ending. You're moving on to something new. It's a new beginning. A fresh start. Aries, give me more spirit. Mm, deep. Okay. Beautiful new beginnings. Getting what you desire, Aries. The world is yours. You're showing up as the Hierophant. This is how you're showing up for the month of May 2024. I feel like for you, Aries, you've been going deeper into your faith, deeper into your spirituality, and that's bringing you to a Ten of Cups moment. Aries, that is bringing more joy and happiness into your life. And with that, you have the world, okay? You have the world, Aries, with this joy and contentment and happiness, all because you've tapped into your spirituality. You've dove, you've dove deeper into your spirituality, and that is more fulfillment and joy and then something coming to a completion for you with I have the death card showing up so that is just reaffirming the world something is completing it's it's ending you are having a transformation you're moving on from some old habits that have been holding you back and that is why you decided to just get quiet, get still, and dive deep, deeply into your faith areas is what I'm feeling with the Six of Swords. You are protected and divinely guided while you rely on your faith. Your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are protecting you on this next phase of your life, Aries, is what I'm feeling. A lot of completion, a lot of contentment and joy. Because with the Knight of Cups, you are seeking those things that bring you pleasure and the things that no longer serve you, you are allowing them to fall away. Aries. And then the Chariot card for you. Because you decided to take control of your life. The decision was made to come back to your faith, come back into your spirituality, seeking higher guidance with this hierophant. You said, I control this. I have the power. You tapped into your solar plexus chakra, that willpower, that determination. And you said, it, you decided that that's where you're going and you remembered that is the center of your willpower, your faith. And then with the Knight of Pentacles showing up for you, 
This is that steady determination, that steady faith, that knowing I'm headed in the right direction along with the magician. Again, your power, your power, your control, the magician and the chariot showing up together with the knight of pentacles. You have so much determination. You have so much willpower helping you to move forward in the next phase of your life, Aries, allowing things to be attracted to you by you staying in their energy of I am capable of seeing things through. I am capable of designing the life of my desire and going after those things that bring me pleasure. This is what I'm feeling for you, Aries, in this phase of your life that's starting for you in May of 2024. I feel like there is, there has been <clears throat> a lot of uncertainty recently in the recent past for you, Aries, as to where your life is headed and how you should be, mm -hmm, how you should be uh, moving right now in this phase of your life. And there was the decision, I have to go back to home base is what I hear. Home base. The magician is showing up again. The universe is just telling you. I said what I said. The magician, with the magician, I said what I said. You are able to manifest the life that you desire, Aries. You are powerful. You are resourceful. Right? This is all a new beginning for you. New opportunities. The old way of doing things and the old way of living is falling away. This is bringing... This is bringing your life back into balance. Some, some Libra energy here with the Justice card showing up for you, Aries. You're living in your truth. You're living as your authentic self because you realize that is what brings you the most joy. That is what brings you the most power. That is what brings you uh, the most stability and harmony in your life is what I'm feeling for you. This Empress card showing up for you, Aries. You decided to nurture yourself. You decided to nurture yourself with this renewed spiritual journey is what I'm feeling. And again, the magician card twice, the universe says, I said what I said. And so the universe is reminding you, Aries, there is power within you. Everything you need to move forward in the next phase of your life is within you. You have the power, you have the intelligence, you have the resources. And here we have justice, right? Justice showing up for you, Aries. And this is the, the balance you've been lacking these last few months, right? This, this is you living and being your authentic self, operating in your authenticity, and it feels good to you and it brings you more of the things that bring you that that ten of cups that contentment that joy that fulfillment the same thing with the world fulfillment right the knight of cups the the desires of your heart what else spirit What else do we have for our beautiful Aries? Be fearless and bold. Absolutely. Be your authentic self. Because those who are meant for you will find you. You will attract 
the people and the experiences that are meant for you to have, right? To experience for yourself. Take a leap of faith. And I absolutely believe that's exactly what you've done. You've gotten deeper, deeply seated in your faith, Aries. Take time out. You took that time out. I feel like that's the process you're doing right now. <clears throat> Taking time out. Brown bear spirit. Take time out. I feel like that is a process you've already started or it's beginning for you in May. Aries, you're taking time out to, again, go back into your faith and spirituality with the Hierophant showing up. You are sitting at the seat of your spiritual guides, angels, and ancestors. You're sitting at their feet, I should say, to learn, to grow. So you're taking that time out to find your way and attain what it is you want for your life. You know what you no longer want. You know what you no longer desire, Aries. And so you've decided to take that time out. And we have the badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Deciding your authentic self, your truth. That is the only way to live. And you no longer fear what people think or say about you. What they think or say about you is none of your business. This is you bringing your, your authentic self to the forefront, fearless and bold. This is creating the space and the room for you to manifest the, the things that your heart desires. It brings you stability and security in self, confidence, and self is what I'm feeling for you, Aries. And then we also have grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. This is definitely faith-based is what I feel for you. Very spiritual energy is what I'm feeling for you, Aries. Take a leap of faith, right? We don't always know exactly where we're going. We just know that we have to move. And I feel like you realize that it's time to move in a way that absolutely brings more joy, more contentment, more stability and security and confidence in your life. That is the path you are on for May, Aries. This is a time for growth for you. This is a time of more creativity, expressing your authentic truth, right? The joy that your truth and authenticity authenticity brings to you this is this is a joyful time for you Aries just letting those things that no longer serve you fall away you are moving toward what it is that adds to your life you are moving toward the happiness Right? You're finding that what happiness looks like for you. You're finding that it comes from the inside. You're finding, Aries, that it comes from your spirituality and the things that align with you spiritually and align with your heart, right? That's what I'm feeling for you, Aries. You are absolutely headed in the right direction. You are divinely guided and protected on every side. There is so much peace and harmony that I'm feeling. Um, and it's actually having, I have this feeling of really, I might sound subdued in this reading because other readings I can get really, really energetic. But this is really peaceful, Aries. And I'm so excited for you, beloved. I really, I really love this. Absolutely. I feel like I need at least one more. Spirit, there's something else. <clears throat> what else does Aries need to know? Wow, wow, spirit is super intentional. King tide, plenty, prosperity, receiving the fullness of life, Aries. The fullness of life, that contentment, that joy. 
right? That peace and harmony, the balancing of all the things that are happening in your life. This is so beautiful. The prosperity of, of your life, the abundance of joy, the abundance of happiness. You will have plenty of your heart's desires with that Knight of Cups, you will have plenty of what your heart desires. You will have plenty of what brings you pleasure, Aries. The fullness of life is here for you, is what I'm feeling. It's so peaceful. This is so peaceful, and I'm so excited for you, Aries. I really hope you've resonated with this reading. You're here to the end of the video. Go ahead and comment below. The fullness of life is mine. The fullness of life is mine. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you supreme love, light, and abundance. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.